stick with the American Conference. This is a regular season finale between East Carolina and Tulane. Conference tournament coming in Fort Worth, Texas next week. Tulane laying 11 and a half with an East Carolina team that has won a couple of games as of late. Total 155 and a half. Corby Craig, we are to you. What is the official play you have on this matchup in New Orleans? Yeah, uh, first, just a rebuttal right back. Uh, Austin Ash is out. He tours ACL. Um, All right, so Austin Ash going. done. He's uh, not going for anything in the game. So like, disreg- disregard all of that on uh, on the Citadel analysis. Thank you for finding yeah. that. Go ahead. No, that, that, that helps Kyle's under a ton. He is, um, he's a, a prolific scorer that hurts to lose in the end of the year. That said, this game, uh, East Carolina, I took the under in the first half at 73 and a half, a ton of points, and, and it sucks to take an under in a two-lane game, third in the nation in tempo. Uh, this number actually went away from me. I got a 73, now it's 73 and a half, which we got for the show, thankfully. Uh, Tulane's going to force a lot of pressure, but the biggest thing here, and the, the massive reason that I like this, is these two teams played literally 48 hours ago. I think, and this number hasn't adjusted enough for the fact that you literally just saw these two teams play in a game that went well under. Uh, this game, in, 48 hours ago, needs to be magnified and, and the full process of your mind because it's literally the same two teams. And, and we see a game that, until the final 10 minutes, was really slow. They scored 51 points in the final 10 minutes of a game that was decent, not really that close. So uh, I think that we see more of the first first three quarters of that game type pace. 73 and a half points, basically, is, is you need everything going right. Um, and I'm not really buying East Carolina. They just beat a two-lane team that is a 12-point favorite at this point. So a two-lane at home to clean up a good bit and, and get some revenge from an East Carolina team that just got big, a big win there. Okay, and again, we should explain this. I didn't do an adequate enough job of this. They had a makeup situation, and that's what the game is tonight. So Wednesday was the regularly scheduled game at East Carolina between Tulane and East Carolina. The conference is now fitting this game in on Friday so that these teams are playing on Wednesday, Friday, and then Sunday. The reason for that is the unfortunate passing, the untimely death of Jeff Charles, the play-by-play uh, voice of East Carolina and their director of broadcasting. Again, as I mentioned uh, a couple of weeks ago when this happened, I got to know Jeff Car- Charles 20-plus years ago, class guy, voice of the East Carolina Pirates for going on 30 years. He had been sick previously. He died unexpectedly while they were on the road trip in New Orleans the night before the game. So the conference postponed the game. That's why these teams are playing twice in a row, as as Corby referenced, within 48 hours. But now they go from Greenville, North Carolina, to New Orleans for this matchup. So Corby had his thoughts on a first half under. Kyle, do you have any thoughts here on this American game real quick? Um. Tulane's had a bunch of games really high scoring in the second half. I definitely like the first half under better than the full game under. Uh, both of these teams foul a decent amount. I could see that being a 50-point, you know, last 10 minutes again in a game like this. So I think uh, looking at the first half makes a lot of sense. Um, as Corby said, betting a Tulane under is not a comfortable bet in general. I mean, they just play so fast. Um, you know, they're going to press. They're going to uh, try to get some turnovers. Uh, East Carolina's defense, not a really bad defense. Uh, they have a defensive-minded head coach in Schwartz. Um, I, you know, I kind of agree with the first half under. I don't like the full game under uh, based on, I think, the, the tempo and the fouls that we could see in the second half. But this number is also going up to a point where it's, it's pretty high. I mean, it's, uh, the full game total has gone up like two and a half or three points now. So it may be getting a little overdone. And again, it's an East Carolina team that has won a couple of games here late in the year. They beat Cincinnati at home. They beat Tulsa, who's awful, by two at Tulsa. They just beat Tulane. They've won three of their last five. But now this in New Orleans, and Corby Craig says, I don't want to see scoring in that first half, maybe a little fatigue, kind of like an NBA schedule here for these teams, playing every other night with the travel, uh, et cetera. So Corby is going under the first half total of 73 and a half for this matchup in the American Conference tonight. 